actually works because we believe in the God that heals through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so today I greet you, my father's children, on this second Sabbath service in the month of July. And I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus, the word of the living God. For even John said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And so today, as we have just concluded our training lesson on the word heals, and the man who believed God, who had his son brought back to life, I want you to understand today that the day is about healing. And so I'm going to ask my wife, Evangelist Francis Anderson, to read for us our text today, found in the book of Mark, chapter 7, verses 31 through 37. And she's going to read the King James Version, Mark 7, 31 through 37. And the text today is, I can't keep it. I got to tell it. <laughs> All right, Evangelist Francis. Amen. Mark seven thirty one through 37. And again, departing from the coast of Tyria and Sidon, he came unto the Sea of Galilee through the midst of the coast of Decapolis. Decapolis. And they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an impediment in his speech. And they beseech him to put his hand upon him. And he took him aside from the magnitude, multitude, and put his fingers into his ears. And he spit and touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said unto him, Apethani, that is, he be opened. And straightway his ears were opened, and the string of his tongue was loosed, and he spake plain. And he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much the more a great deal they published it. And were beyond measure astonished, saying, He had done all these, all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Praise God. And so today, as the wife has read to you from the book of Mark, chapter 7, verses 31 through 37, I need you to understand today that we're dealing with healing, and we're dealing with the Son of the living God, who has the power not only to heal, but to create and to make anew. Today's subject is, I can't keep it, I got to tell it. The purpose of this text is, first of all, is to understand that the book of Mark, the author of Mark, is the son of Mary of Jerusalem, according to Acts 12 and 12. He is referred to as John Mark in Acts 12, 25. He was a relative of Barnabas, Colossians 4 and 10. He was an associate with Paul the Apostle and Barnabas on their first missionary journey, according to Acts 12, 25. Acts 13 and 5. I want you to hear me today because it is important for you to understand that this text was addressed to the Gentile Christians. That's you and me. In Mark's main theme, we find Christ, the tireless servant of God and man. Here in the book of Mark is the life of Jesus, which is portrayed as crowded, but with benevolent deeds. Here in this book, we see Jesus in his devotion interrupted by the crowd, according to Mark chapter 1, verse 33 through 37. No time to eat, Mark 3 and 20. We see Jesus yielding to such perpetual calls for his service that his friends said that he was unbalanced, Mark 3 and 21. And he was pursued when he sought rest, Mark 6, 31 through 34. I want you to hear me today. I can't keep it. I got to tell it. Today, our key word is straightway. And let me say that again. Our key word is straightway, meaning immediate action right now. In this text, we see our Lord and Savior will be to you just what you let him be in your life and in your heart. In the book of Mark today, we see these distinctive features. First, it is the shortest book of the four Gospels, which include Matthew, Luke, and John. 
The style is vivid and picturesque, and a careful study of this book reveals the fact that the aim of the author, Mark, is to let the powerful works of Jesus testify to his eternal deity. It shows him as the Son of the Father and our Savior and our Lord. I want you to understand something today. I can't keep it. I got to tell it. Here in the book of Mark, we see 19 miracles that are recorded in the shortest book which demonstrate the supernatural power of the master and our soon coming king. First of all, we see eight miracles which prove Christ has power over disease. Yeah. And that's one of the things that we're going to discuss today, the power over disease. Yeah. We see five miracles showing his power over nature. You and I both know when he walked on the water, yeah. when he told the storm to be still. Yeah. Listen to me today. We see also four miracles demonstrating his authority over the demonic world. When he told the demons to come out, I want you to know they came out. Oh, yeah. And so we see today in this, the shortest book in the New Testament, the book of Mark, that he wants us to understand the miraculous power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Here we see two miracles that shows his conquest over death and his power to raise the dead. You can be raised from sin and shame, and you too can live in righteousness in Christ Jesus. And so today, I want you to understand in our text, we find the personal concerns of Jesus for those who need help in the physical life, in their trials and tribulations. Here in this text today, we see a young man that was brought to Jesus by his friends. And the Bible said he was both deaf and dumb. And I want you to know the miraculous way that Jesus brought him into healing is a way that you and I have never read in the scriptures up unto this assignment. I want you to know the text shows that Jesus is concerned about you and me yes, in his is. working of miracles mm -hmm. for the people of Israel and what he did for them, he's willing to do for you and me even today. Yes. In this story, we see Jesus just finished a tremendous ministry of casting out a demon and now moving down to the Sea of Galilee to move into more ministry. Here today on our lesson, we found out that he healed the son of a centurion who was a part of the nation of Rome. And now we see he's healing now a boy who's brought into the nation of Israel. So today when Jesus passes your way, something good is going to happen to you too. Right this will help you and me get down Thank to you. inside of our lives and our innermost being yeah. to trust in the healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the text, we see a young man who was again deaf and dumb. Yeah. And Mark gives us that his friends, I'm telling you, that's why we need friends today. Someone who will introduce us to the word of the living God. Right. Someone who will introduce us back into the faith to believe that the God we serve is able to heal, oh, to deliver, yes. and to set free. Yes. Here the young man was brought to Jesus by his friends and they expected Jesus to heal and deliver him, but what they did not expect was the way that yes. the Lord did it. it. His condition was again that he was deaf in his speech and also he couldn't hear. This means that he couldn't hear the word of God, nor communicate between his fellow man. And his praise and his lips were cut off from God and his relationship to speak with men. He needed a miracle that only Jesus could help. Amen. Are you hearing me yes, today? Yes. Listen, my friend, today when we can't get in touch uh, with our friends, we can get in touch with God. Amen. And we can do this <laughs> through the form of worship. We are in a terrible shape today. Our world is cruel and men are now in greed and corruption. And yet we see the master is still the man that you can count on in every situation. And if you are among the men today of the world, you need to know that there's only one man that can heal, only one man that can set free, Hallelujah. only one man Hallelujah. that can bring you out yes. of darkness and yes. bring you into yes. light. And that is our master, the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. 
Here we find that this young man, if death uh, was being uh, not bad enough, how about the impediment of speech? In other words, he, 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 he could not get his words out like you and I. So that meant that he had an impediment of speech, which stopped him from praising God or making friends with his community. Yeah. So open your mouth today and give God praise Hi, for healing yeah. you, yes. knowing yes. now yes. that you can open your mouth and thank, thank him Jesus. for what he's done yeah. in your life. The Hi. songwriter said he woke me up this morning yeah. and started me on wow. my way. Yeah. And so I'm going to give him praise and I'm going to thank him that not only can I hear with my ear, but I can speak with my mouth. So today, you see, we need our tongue to give praise to our hearts of joy yes. that the Spirit of God is moving in our lives. How many of you were in that same condition, in a place where you couldn't praise and thank God my for the God, blessings God, in your God, life? So you see, you need the power of Jesus yes. to heal you and yes. to restore you and to give you the option to give praise on a daily basis. Yes. We heard our teacher today to say it's not just on the Sabbath, it's not just on Sunday, but it is every day of the week yes. that we need to open our mouths and give him glory. Yes. We need to open our ears and hear the words of the living God. Hallelujah. I heard a song that relates to this subject and it said I must tell Jesus ah. all of my trials yes. I cannot bear these burdens alone oh. in my distress he kindly will help me yes. he ever loves and cares for his own I must I tell must Jesus tell I must tell Jesus that I cannot bear my burdens alone I must tell Jesus I must tell Jesus Jesus can help me and Jesus alone. And so we see now that he is in front of this young man. And he's able now to do what nobody else can do. That is to relieve him from being deaf. And to give him now speech in the midst of his speech impediment. I can't keep it. I got to tell it. Here's good news for you and me. Jesus will never embarrass you Amen. or he will never embarrass me. Amen. But like he did for the young man, the Bible said he took him aside, even in seclusion. And with that, he will give you a special touch and make everything all right. Oh, I want you to understand that the word of the Lord said this, found in the book of Mark. And I need you to understand that the text that he gave is a text that is so important that you and I need to realize that he heals in different kinds of ways. Yet his healing is sufficient to bring and restore you and to return you to normal life. The Bible said this is what he did to the young man, Jesus taking him aside by himself, hmm, away from the crowd put his fingers in the man's ears, and after spitting, he touched the man's tongue with saliva, and he looked up to heaven and sighed deeply and said to him, Apata, Lord have mercy, which means in the American language to be open and to be released. And his ears were open, and his tongue was released, and he began to speak plainly. I don't know about you today, but since God saved us, since God healed us, yeah. since God delivered us, yeah. we need to speak plainly Plain. to ah. our community. Oh, we need to God. speak plainly Jesus. to our neighbors. Yeah. We need to speak plainly to our family that it is the joy of knowing Jesus because he is the deliverer yeah. and he is the healer. Thank God. Listen what he did. He took this young man aside, not in the crowd, but took him aside and brought him him into a place called divine healing. I don't know about you today, but I can't keep it. I got to tell it. The story goes that Jesus put his finger in his ear, my God today, and touched his tongue and spit on the ground. Then he called on his heavenly father and looked up to heaven and gave glory to the father. And then he said to the young man, Epatha, which be meaning is to be open. And I don't know about you today, but we need to be open yes. to the praise of the yes. living God. Yes, yes, we yes, need yes. to be open to the work of the master yes. by telling others that Jesus 
healed me. Yeah. Jesus saved me. Yeah. Jesus turned me around yeah. and brought me back to praying ground. Right. And because I have ears to hear, mm -hmm. that the Bible said, he that has an ear, yeah. let him let hear. Him hear. What the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. He that has a mouth, let him rejoice and give glory Hallelujah. to the Father Hallelujah. that the Son has come in your yes. life. Yes. Listen to me. And in the same way, Jesus will open your ears and loose your tongue Hallelujah. and bring you out of a place of suffering and make you whole. Yes. When Jesus touched you, the Bible said straight away, something good will happen and change in your life. I don't know about you, but I'm glad today that I heard that the word of God is true yeah. and that the word of God is right yeah. and somebody is wrong. But God's word is always, always. in the proper order yeah. to deliver you and return you to the blessed abode of giving him praise yeah. and honor. Hallelujah. So today my question is, have you ever felt the touch of Jesus in your life and surrounding? And the answer ought to be yes. I felt him down on the inside when he cleansed me from sin. I felt him in my body when he healed my body and restored me again. I want you to know that my feet are happy and I'm dancing for joy. My hands are praising and I'm giving God the glory. Yeah. Why? Because one touch from the master Hallelujah. can make you whole. Yeah. So you see this young man felt Jesus holy touch. This young man felt his powerful touch and was made completely whole and set free to Come praise on. God yeah, and to give honor to the Father. Yeah. I want you to know today oh, that Lord, one Lord, touch Lord, will Lord, make Lord. a difference. Yeah. One touch will make everything all right. Yes, Lord, for your glory and for your touch in our lives. I can't keep it. I got to tell it. You and I was blind, but now we see. Yeah. We were lost, but now we're saved. Yeah. By the blood of Jesus on Calvary's cross, it was God's amazing grace. Yeah. And one touch from the master's hand mm -hmm. made everything in our lives all right. Yes. Glory Thank to Jesus. God Hallelujah. in the highest. I can't keep it. I got to tell it. Again, the songwriter states in a song, somebody touch me. Jesus touch me. And oh the joy I found when Jesus touched me. Joy filled my soul. Yeah. Something happened and now I know Jesus touched me and made me whole. Yeah. So today, like the young man who was healed, I feel we need to tell somebody about that wonderful touch that the master has that makes us whole spiritually, that makes us whole physically, that makes us whole yeah. mentally, and oh, brings oh, completeness yeah. down in our heart. So in the verse 36, Jesus asked the people to keep silent about this fantastic miracle of healing. But the more he asked them to keep silent, the more they proclaimed the good news. Look what he's done for the deaf. Look what he's done for the dumb and how he brought him back into the midst of his community, whole and complete. Yes. I don't know about you, but I can't keep it. I got to tell it that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the one that I believe in yes. as my Savior and my Lord. The one that stood on Calvary's cross, shed his blood for you and me to bring us back into the Father's house. Yes. Not yes. Incomplete, yes, yes. but completely whole oh, and healed. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Maybe somebody here under my voice today knows what Jesus has done in your life. And you're not willing to keep silent, but you're willing to tell somebody, had it not been for the Lord that was on my side, I don't know where I would be. Yeah. But early this morning, he touched me yeah. with the finger of love and restored my mind and brought me back into life. Yeah. All I need to do today is just tell him thank you. Thank you. Because 
because you are the God that moves supernaturally. And so I don't know about you today, but I'm concerned that as we close the message today, Jesus has done all things well. He makes both the deaf and dumb to hear and speak. Therefore, I can't keep it. I got to tell it today that we need to give Jesus praise yes. and celebrate his power yes. to heal and to deliver and to save from sin and shame Hallelujah. and to bring us out of many diseases yes. through the power of one touch. Finally, I can't keep it. I got to tell it. Why? Because he saved me one day when I was a little boy down in Monroe, Louisiana. He saved me and called me into the ministry of faith. And now I know the same God that saved me can save you. All you need to do today is put your faith in his hand and his hand will give you the joy of moving forward. Yes. Today I can't keep it because he brought me out of the devil's mess and put me on the mountain peak of peace and all I need to do is say thank you Lord thank for you've you been mighty good to me. Yes. The songwriter sang the song down through the years. God has been good to me and I don't know about you today but out of all of the trouble I've had. Trouble didn't last always. Out of all of the sickness I've been through, sickness didn't last always. But I want you to know today what will last is the love Hallelujah. of God yes. and the sweet oh, communion oh. of the His joy being down in your life. And I don't know about you today, but listen to me. When you and me from the crowd of sin he put us on the narrow path. Yes. I can't keep it. I got to tell it. Praising our Savior because what he's done for us took us out of Broadway and brought us to the narrow way. Took us out of sin and brought us to righteousness. He touched us with the finger of love yes. and told us to live and not die. So is there anybody here today that can praise him for opening your ears that you can praise him for opening your mouth to give you a time to give joy to the Lord and bless his holy name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. for we are healed today by the power of his word. So in conclusion today, I can't keep it. I got to tell it. My Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the bright and morning star, yes. the one who has healing in his wings. Jesus Christ is the way maker and the door opener into kinship and fellowship with the Father and the Word and the Holy Ghost. And just like he touched that young man, he can touch you today. Yes. And you will be able to rejoice that you heard in your ear and you spoke it out in your mouth that this is the Son of the living God, yes. the one that heals and he brings joy. Lord have mercy. Today he is the light of the world and the joy giver of every man that will apply himself out of sin into righteousness. Today, my Jesus, who is the light of the world and ever shining in my soul, we sang another song, Jesus, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I want somebody to know that you turned the light on and you brought joy in my heart. So today, Jesus Christ, who is the sin breaker and the healer of our soul, he's the water of life and bread when you're hungry. All you have to do is ask for one touch. Lord have mercy. One touch will do what everything else cannot do. Bring you out and bring you up. Jesus Christ, who opens the grave of death 
and brings life into eternity just by believing on his name. I don't know about you today, but when I look back over these 76 years, I'm looking back now of trials and tribulations, but I'm looking back over the triumph of victory, of how he brought me out yeah. of all of these things. And when you began to look back over your life, the touch that he gave you, you too can give him praise. You too can give him thanks. Yeah. You too can give him glory for what he's done for you. Today I want you to know that I just want to say thank you. Lord, you touch that man. You open his ears and you unstop the deafness of his ears and brought the dumbness out of his mouth. You've done the same thing for us. Yes. And so today I want to yes. say bless the Lord. Oh, oh yes. my soul yes. and all that is within me. I want to bless his name. Why? because he's done so much for us that we need to tell somebody that one touch makes the difference in our lives. I don't know about you, but I got my peace back within my heart when I acknowledged that he is the savior of mankind. I got my peace back when I acknowledged that his blood is sufficient. I got my peace back when I acknowledged that he's the joy that I can drink as a fountain of living waters that will bubble up and come out of me. And with joy, I can take Tell somebody, one touch will make a difference. One touch will bring you out. One touch will bring you up. One touch will bring you in. And all you need to do is tell somebody, hallelujah, look what the people did. The more Jesus said, don't talk, the more they talked. Why? Because they saw the miracle and the power of God. And the word of God had this to say to us. The Bible said this in verse 36. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone. But the more he ordered them, the more widely they continued to proclaim it. Why? They were thoroughly astounded and completely overwhelmed by saying he has done all things well. Yeah. I don't know about you today, but what has he done for you? Is there a point of line to others telling him that there's nothing ever happened in your life? Rather tell the truth and say, now I know that through the night he was there. Now I know that in the morning he was there. And so the songwriter said, if you call on Jesus, he will answer your prayer. Yeah. And so whatever you need today, wherever you are today, you can turn around and proclaim like blind Bartimaeus, Jesus, that son of David, I need you. What do you need, blind Bartimaeus? I need my sight. And the Bible said Jesus laid his hands on him and he received his sight. What about uh, the man that climbed up the sycamore tree, Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus just wanted to see Jesus. And so he went up a tree that had knots and thickets that would cut him as he climbed. But he climbed to the top just to have one touch with Jesus. And what did the Bible say? Jesus looked up at the tree and said, hasten and come down, for I must dwell in your house today. That same sinner was saved by the power of God. And Zacchaeus said to him, Lord, I am a man of means, and if I've taken anything from anybody, I want to restore them fourfold. In other words, since you touched me, yeah. I know everything oh, is going to be all yeah. right. Yes. Therefore, the song say, I got a feeling yeah down in my heart that everything will be all right. And I don't know about you, but since he touched me, I've been made whole. Since he touched me, I have a brand new vision. Since he touched me, I have a brand new speech. And now all I want to do is encourage somebody else that you can testify that if he done it for me, he'll do it for you. Yes. Therefore, if anybody is on the conference line, if anybody is on Facebook Live, you need to have a testimony this week. Tell somebody, yes. had it not been for the Lord who brought me out, I would still be dead in trespasses and sin. Yes. But because he opened the door oh, yes. and brought me off of Broadway yes. into the narrow way, yes. 
I now know that I'm on my way up. And I'm not going to turn around. I'm on my way in and I'm not going out. Why? Because this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. This joy that I have, the world can't take it away. Ain't nobody but Jesus who gave it and he won't take it away. So today I want you to lift your hands in praise. Why? Because you have hands that can go up. I want you to look at the ear of faith and hear the word of the living God. Want you to take the mouth of praise and give God glory. Why? Because out of all of the world around you, you're still here to give praise to the living God. And I don't know about you today, but my mind is made up. My head is lifted up. I'm on my way up and I'm not going to turn around. You see, I've come so so close to where glory is being announced. I've come so close where praise is being heard that I'm not going to turn around like the young man that had that impediment of speech. My speech now is clear. My mind is made up. All I want to do is give him praise. All I want to do is to thank him for bringing me out and bringing me in. And so if you're on the conference line and if you're on Facebook Live and you began to realize now that it was only Jesus who gave you the one touch, only Jesus who opened the door in the ear that you could hear, it was only Jesus that opened the mouth that you could speak, not with an impediment, but plainly say, God I thank you today. Thank you. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, yes, God, Lord. I praise you today. <laughs> hallelujah. God, it's my desire yes, to move forward. Oh, and yes. the song is every day I'm going higher and higher. Yes. Every moment I want you to plant my feet on higher ground. Yes. Plant my feet yes. on the table land. Why? Because you have done such a wonderful thing. You saved me. You delivered me. Yes. You healed me. Oh, yes, and you brought me out. So I just need somebody that's on the conference line. Somebody that's on Facebook Live now that you realize that if he touched that young man he can touch you if he touched that young man and brought him out he can bring you out even if you're sick you can be healed if you're down you can be lifted if you're out you can be brought in so all I need you to do is just begin to give him praise open your mouth Huh, yeah. Glory to God. Open your mouth and be giving praise. Open your mouth and thank him. Open your mouth and let him know. Lord, like you did it to the young man, you can do it to me. Like you did it for the young man, you can do it for me. Like, oh my God, today. Hallelujah. God, I praise you. Come on and give him praise. Come on and oh my God. Hallelujah. Open that mouth. Oh, 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 oh. Open that mouth and praise the Lord. This is the Lord that touched my God. You and made you whole. This is the God that touched you and brought you out. This is the God that touched you and woke you up. Ah, God, come on, open your mouth and praise him. Hallelujah. Do not be ashamed. This is not the time to close the mouth. This is the time to open the mouth and give God glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, the joy that fill my soul. Lord have mercy. Oh, the joy that filled my mind when he transformed by one touch. Hallelujah. Sir. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Come on and give him glory today. Oh, God, I just want to say thank you. God, I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. 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 God, I give you praise today. This is the day that you brought us out. This is the day that you've given us glory. This is the day that you helped us now to move forward in the things of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on and praise him today. Come on and bless him today. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. You are the healer. 
Yes, you are the healer. Yes, you are the healer oh, that have my never God, lost a case. Jesus. You are the healer yes, Lord, that can Jesus. mend the brokenhearted. Yes, Lord, you are the healer Lord. that can yes, touch the depressed. Right, you are the healer Jesus. that can bring out yes, those Lord, that want to commit suicide. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Today, Lord, one Jesus. touch oh, will make the touch, difference. Lord, touch, Glory, Lord, be touch, Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so today before I pray, I want to bring you back to Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16. This is what we ought to be doing. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and to the Father by him. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did the word say today, Amen. apostle? He said we ought to be able to thank him in a song. Thank him in a spiritual song. Amen. Thank him in a hymn. Yes. Thank him by singing with grace in our heart. Lord, thank you. Yes. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Mm. Glory to God. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, my God, ah, yeah, my Lord. God, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, for your glory, thank you for touching the young man, touching you for making him whole, touch, glory to God, and so today, as we get ready to pray, we're going to pray for the hearing of the ear. Yes, Lord. We're going to pray for the praise yes, of the tongue. Lord. Yes, Lord. I need you to understand that thank wherever you, you go thank this you, week, you ought to tell the Lord, thank you. Oh, yes. Had it not been for you, I wouldn't be thank where I am. Jesus, Had it not you, been Lord. for you, the blessings would not have come. Yes, Had it not Lord. been for you, the bread would not be in the house. And the water and the oil will not be in the cabinet. Yes, but thank yes, God yes. that thank you God. have made a way physically, yes, mentally, yes, and spiritually. Yes, and so as we pray today, yes, I want you to learn that you got to give him a praise. Yes. Mm. Oh, yes, Lord. Hey, Lord, glory. Yes, Lord. I want you to learn you got to give him a praise Jesus, in the midst of all yes, that you're going yes, through. Yes, I don't need to recount to you before I pray oh, all the ones who had to do that. Look at Job. Jesus. Suffered everything. The loss of sons and daughters. Even the miscommunication of his wife. Only for him to say the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Look at Joseph. Cast out by his brothers. Land in prison. But he stayed with God. Yes. You need to know that the touch will make you whole and bring you out and give you the praise in the midst of all that you're going through. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The man of the living God who is both man and God that have come on the earth that we might be saved from the penalty of sin and death. You today showed us the miracle power just in one touch of your hand and declaring Apatha be open. And so today we say Apatha to those that are in Facebook Live. Apatha to those that are on the conference line. Be open and be healed. Be delivered and set free. Hey, ha, hallelujah. By the power of the blood of Jesus coming down in your innermost being and exploding in the realm of joy today. Hallelujah. 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 God, we praise you because you're marvelous. We praise you because you're mighty. We praise you because you're omnipotent. We praise you because you're omnipotent. We praise you because you never change. Ah, every day you're the same. Ah, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. So today we pray for those that are on the prayer list. Lord, lift them off the beds of affliction. Ah. Oh, glory. Bring them out of depression and give them a way out. Oh, my God. Rebuke the spirit of suicide today. Let them live to proclaim the word of the living God. Father, those who are down and out, lift them up now and bring them out so that they can have a testimony that I have been with God. Hallelujah. Touch us today. Touch us today. Remind us 
that we are yours and you are ours. Ah, remind us of the fellowship and the kinship and the relationship that only you can give. And we'll bless you. Oh, my God. We'll sanctify your name. Hallelujah. We'll tell the world that it's you and not us. Because you touched us by the finger of love. This we ask in the name of Jesus. And we give God glory right now. Come on everybody. Come on. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on and give him praise. Come on and give him glory. Come on and thank him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. This joy I have. The world didn't give it to me. Oh, this joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. Oh, this joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. Well, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it. Oh, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Oh, this joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. Hallelujah. The joy that we have today did not come from the world situation, but it came from the word of the living God. And as I get ready to leave you today, let me give you this profound statement that what he's did, he's done all things well. Who glory to God. Open the deaf ear and Open the dumb that he could speak plainly. And the same Jesus that worked in Mark chapter 7 is the same Jesus that will work on the ninth day of July here in America and around the world. All you have to do is call him and he'll come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All you got to do is call him and he'll come. Glory be to God. If you call him, he'll come. If you call him, he'll come. So today, God bless you. God keep you. God make his face to shine upon you. And with Evangelist Francis and LEPC and those that are on the line today, we give God glory that we can't keep it. We got to tell it what the Lord has done for you and for me. Brought us out of darkness into a marvelous light. Brought us out of sin into righteousness and brought us out of trouble into a place called peace. Hallelujah. God bless you. God keep you. This is the Apostle Ellie Anderson on Facebook Live saying until I talk to you again or see you in another powerful service where the hand of God touches and makes whole. This is the Apostle Ellie Anderson saying to you today, go with God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.